I was going to wait till later this week to start this challenge run, but I guess we're going to do it now. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I... I don't know. I was de- I mean, we beat the bonus story last night, and I'm feeling... We're, we're just gonna get started. Hmm... Do I take- I did not specify in my rules whether I was allowed to take this bonus. I'm gonna say I'm allowed to take it. I'm gonna say I'm allowed to take it. So we're gonna take it. I don't know if that'll be enough to get me any actual progress in Colony 6. But we're gonna take it. That's fine. I'm gonna take my Xenoblade 2 completion bonus. <laughs> we're not gonna spend it for a while, but I I'm gonna take it. Oh yeah, no, I can't spend it for like forever. Okay, it's fine. I think I'm okay with taking that then. So we're gonna watch the cutscenes because I like watching the cutscenes. I don't know. The cutscenes are neat. And I have not streamed this game before. No, I did stream my playthrough of this game. But, you know. The Bionis and the Maconis. That was like a year ago. That we started this. Over a year ago that I started this the first time on here. I just want to do my challenge run. We're going to do this challenge run. I just want to have it done. I don't know. It seems fun. <sighs> the Titans were locked in a timeless battle. Until at last, if you only ah, their lifeless corpses I need to move forward. If you want would like to know, uh what the rules of the challenge run are, there is a handy Eons command past. in the chat that you can type, exclamation point challenge, which should take you to a Google Doc that uh, has all of the details. Cutscenes. I forgot that this game starts with 15 minutes of cutscenes. Essentially 15 minutes of cutscenes. Someone to drag your corpse off. 
as long as you think you still so the challenge won't really back. take effect yet. Boy, you two. There's we not that much in this first back. section that's well, really a challenge. What would we do without those? <sighs> the enemy's second wave is approaching! It's now or never, Dunban. Let's show them what we got. We'll give them a warm Hans welcome. Acknowledged. Yeah! <laughs> Okay. Five minutes of cutscenes. And then we get. Yes, I know how to play the game. I know how to play the game. part of the game. Got through the tutorial battles, so so far things are going well. We have got to be kidding. It's their main force. Looks like the Mechon are hell bent on taking us out. They'll have to be if they want to beat us. Now, let's even the odds a bit. You heard him. Dixon, Monka, let's do this. Ah! Five more minutes of cutscenes here while I wait. I could skip the cutscenes, but I don't feel like skipping the cutscenes. Because the whole point of, like, good fashion is that we have to look good in the cutscenes. That's, like, the whole point of the good fashion, or the sensible fashion part of the, uh... Yeah, fashion standards part of the challenge. Basically, there's a lot of rules about what I can equip and what I'm not allowed to equip. And what I'm allowed to do in the game. <laughs> and I am not allowed to do a lot. I mean, basically my only choices are whether I want to explore or not. I'm allowed to explore places to discover, like, landmarks and locations and that sort of stuff, and I'm allowed to, uh, go out of my way to hunt unique monsters. And I can choose whether I want to run away from enemies or fight them. If they attack me. 
If they do not attack me, I have to leave them alone. Unless, uh, grinding for equipment. Which is only allowed under specific circumstances that are spelled out in the challenge document. Cutscene. Ugh, done with the intro cutscene. Yay. There's our title screen. Moving on. I bet I can use its optical system to align one of the anti-air batteries. Oh, no good. It's broken. The joint section. It's buckled. Mm. Yeah, you're gonna do that, Shulk. It's completely useless. Ugh. Its armor would be perfect for making a shield. If I can just get it off, I should be able to. Oh. Oh. Shulk! Oh, that classic battle music. It's not a metal, it's just a crap. It was using the Mechon armor as a shell. I'll leave it away on top of it. When it's down, use your arms to finish it off. Yes, I know how HP works. Oh my goodness. You don't have to tutorialize me on that. This game works. Yes, I know how arts work. Hooray, um, we're gonna go to the menu now, immediately, if I can. Am I not allowed to open the menu? I am not allowed to open the menu yet. Okay. I don't think I can lose this battle. These are required battles, so I'm gonna fight them, you know. We, we do have to fight these. Thanks, Ryan. That was a close one. Man, what were you doing wandering off by yourself? Stay where I can keep an eye on you. It's pretty dangerous outside of the colony. There are all kinds of monsters. Yeah. But thanks to you, we got it shell. Everyone in the colony is gonna be really happy. I'm more worried about you than the shell. Oh, whatever. No matter what you're like, at least you'll make a decent weapon out of it. This scrap driver's excellent. I just learned by watching Dixon make weapons. Of course, Dunban's weapon still beats them all. The Monado. I hope I can figure out the secret of his power one day. You will, Shulk. Anyway, we better get back to the colony. If I'm late for drills again, old Square Tash is gonna kill me. Squaretash? Oh, the Defense Force Colonel. He's pretty scary. Tell me about it. Sorry, I didn't mean for you to come all the way out here during your break. Don't worry about it. Let's get back. Yeah. Lots of tutorials. Hold on.
I'm not gonna go back to level one, but that's fine. Uh, let's just never look at the tutorial screen. I played this game before, so um, I am allowed to view heart to hearts, but the heart to heart hasn't shown up yet, so we can't cut the tutorial on that yet. That's fine. That's another thing I'm allowed to go out of my way for that I didn't specify, but I can. I'm probably not gonna do it a lot because I don't expect to view all of them. Collectopedia is something I'm allowed to do. I'm allowed to mess with that. <laughs> it's one of the few things I can do. We're not allowed to fight these enemies because they're not attacking me. I've just got to ignore them. I just realized that this is going to be an interesting early XP early experience curve. Oh, it's going to be real interesting. I'm going to have to... I might have to use some of the bonus experience early. Just to get enough levels to take on the first unique monster. Oof. Here we are. I better stop in at HQ. You off to the weapon development lab? Yeah. When I've sold any parts I can't use. Alright. See you later. Nice little cutscene there. Here's the most important part. I'm not allowed to talk to any of the people here. No talking to them. That's bad. And off limits. I'm gonna go back and grab these item orbs. I'm allowed to do this. I just want to make sure I have them. Uh, hold on. No, do, do Collectopedia. We're going to put all these things in the Collectopedia. This is the only use for collectibles that I have access to. I disabled a lot of mechanics for myself in this challenge. But that's part of the fun of it. We can have an ether up. Hooray. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, we do need to talk to Gem Man. But we get less... Yeah, we get... We waste less SP by going down here. So we're gonna go this way. I'm thinking about my AP and SP and the bonus experience, and I'm trying to route it out efficiently. To try to get it on as many people as possible for this early game because this early game is going to be spooky. Oh, that's a little asterisk onto that rule that I totally forgot about doing. Adding. Uh, nah, that's fine. I'll, I'm not going to add it to the document. It's just a little asterisk onto a rule that I've already established. But we're allowed, we're allowed to go exploring. It's related to boss levels and unique monster levels, and I'm not allowed to fight unique monsters that are higher level than the next level bo than the next boss in the story. Which I think I have all the boss levels memorized. But our first boss is level eight, which means right now I'm allowed to fight. Anyway, we're just coming up there for ease of travel. Since I'm going through the residential district and not the commercial district to start. Because I want to save that sweet commercial district bonus experience, AP, SP, all that good stuff for uh, later. I'm also not allowed to talk to anyone. I'm going to grab every item orb by red item orb. That's going to be another little fun goal. How many re how many key items can I build up by the end of the game?
Look at all the people with quests that I'm not allowed to accept. I'm also running up this back street to specifically avoid the landmark. Yeah, we're gonna try to grab every key item in the game that I can. Just for funsies. Just because I want to see how many key items I can build up. Without invalidating any of the other things, of course. Other restrictions take priority. Okay, made it to this cutscene. Let's get through this event. Gotta go from story flag to story flag at this point, just trying to move on. I think my goal for today is get, get, to get through the first couple chapters of the game. Probably three, maybe four. Three or four chapters is probably a good goal. I think I can get to there today. Okay, that's done. Um, we're gonna skip. Just ignore everyone. No one matters. We don't need to talk to anyone. No, no, we can't talk to anyone. We're too busy for that. No talking to people. That's that's one of the main tenet rules of this playthrough. No talking to people. All right, Shulk. Unless that's required. How are you? When did you get back to Colony 9? <laughs> Just now. I see you've been busy. Looks like your Monado research has been going well. I made the right choice leaving you in charge. <laughs> your research notes really helped. So, you can activate it now then. Well, anyone can activate it. The problem is controlling it. Yeah, for everyone except him. Yes. If anyone other than Dunban were able to control the Monado, we could surpass any military force in the world. You think so? What are these hidden functions you mention? It's still only conjecture, but it's starting to look like the Monado might be something far more significant than just a weapon for defeating Mekon. I see. And the evidence to support your theory? It's the symbol that appears in the center when it's activated. What I know is, the central piece is made from multi-layered glass. The symbol appears on the top layer, and each layer is constructed differently. So it's possible that other symbols could appear on different layers? 
Which means... The Monado might conceal even more power. Am I right? If we could just... Unlock the Monado's power. Dunban! Dunban! supplies delivered to the defense force. I'll drop round the HQ and see how they're getting on. Okay then. I'll see you later. Shulk, you're spending too much time in the lab. Either that or rummaging for junk in the scrapyard. It ain't healthy for a kid your age. That's why you're always looking so pasty. You should get out and get some fresh air once in a while. All right, I'm off. <laughs> Is it time to eat already? You didn't have to bring it yourself. You could have just called me. Don't be silly. Do you want me to feed you? <laughs> Don't treat me like an invalid. I'm better than I was a year ago. Much better. No, I really thought I lost you back then. Yes, but now I'm almost well enough to handle the Monado again. Dunban, don't say that. The Mechan have gone now. Why would you say that? I just mean I'm prepared. Sorry. Okay. More importantly, eat up before it gets cold. I made something really special today. Don't feel like you need to stay here then, Fiora. Go and make your next delivery. Huh? Well, I'm sure you'd like Shulk to try some while it's still hot. That's okay. Shulk has no sense of taste. He'll say it's delicious even if it's stone cold. <laughs> In which case, today he would actually mean it. Hmm, maybe. I'm fine, Fiora. Off you go. Okay. Donban, thanks. Well, uh, okay. That's a long cutscene. Oh yeah, we have quests now, by the way. It's okay that I have this quest. It's a story quest. It's required. I can't beat the game without doing it. I'm not allowed to pick up any non-required... Well, I am allowed to pick up some non-required quests, but very few. Looks like you're in a hurry. Where are you off to? I just thought I'd take short some food. I'm on my way to the lab. Shul's not there right now. 
Really? Basically, the only non-required quests I'm allowed to do are quests that don't involve talking to anyone. In, in terms of accepting them. There is one person I will be talking to for a quest, but that's because the quest is... Available without the quest is triggered by n without talking to anyone. So I'm gonna go straight up here. More cutscenes. We're just gonna go straight from cutscene to cutscene, basically. The Manado. It's the only sword that's effective against the Mechon armor. They say that before time began, it was wielded by the Bioness. The same Bionis that we all live on. It must have a secret. That's how Dunban was able to destroy so many Mekon. And why he lost the use of his right arm. If I can just unlock the secret of its power. Shulk! Fiora? Hmm. This is great. It tastes so good. Really? It's amazing. Oh, Shulk. You say that every day. Not quite. Mm. It's always delicious. But today, it's amazing. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. I used some special herbs and spices today. So if you said it was just the same as usual, I'd know for sure you have no sense of taste. What? Oh, nothing. Ah, oh, the breeze feels so good. Yeah, I've forgotten what it feels like. I never thought it could be so quiet here. You're spending too much time with Ryan. You're getting used to all the noise he makes. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <sighs> it's so peaceful. You know, Shulk, I hope every day can be like this, always. Huh? <gasps> the debris siren. Strange. There hasn't been much fall in lately. batteries can't protect us out here. Let's get back to the lab. Okay. Well, that's that. Quest complete. Yeah, I know the tutorials. Stop yelling about tutorials. I'm gonna view this heart to heart real quick. I'm gonna make this one go terribly because it doesn't matter. This, going badly, is intentional. <laughs> for this, for the achievements. Uh, we got skip it, that's fine. I will go back and examine these heart to hearts. I don't think we're actually gonna get enough, uh, stuff. For all, like, enough affinity to view any of these heart to hearts. In the course of the challenge run. Which I would like to remind you, if you would like to know what all the rules for the challenge run are, type exclamation mark challenge in the chat, and it will give you a link to the full challenge. Ryan? Ryan! What are you doing? Sh sh we haven't really gotten to the challenge so no, far, it's just been cutscenes. Just... <laughs> I've just been trying to get through as many cutscenes as possible. Without skipping, because, you know. Scenes in this game are good. That doesn't need to be open. Brian! Goodness! 
Fiora, are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. Ah, uh, it's broken. What? What do you mean it's broken? Don't you care about me? I could have died. You're not hurt, are you? The Monado can't cut people. More importantly, what were you thinking, Brian? Sorry, I, I came to ask a favor, but you weren't here. I saw the Monado, and I know I'm here a lot, but even I need fresh air sometimes. Is your body still feeling numb? We have to be very careful with the Monado. It's not a toy. I know, man. I just wanted to touch you. Didn't know it'd do that. Sorry. But is it true? The Monado really can't cut people. The pattern in that circle. Or maybe it's a symbol. I think it shows which power the Monado has at the moment. You think it's a symbol? Well, if I can find a way to increase the number of symbols, I should. I'm sure that's all very clever. But why were you more worried about a machine than me, Shulk? Well, I just... I just explained why. That's not the point! Uh, s sorry. Yeah, it, don't don't piss off the oil. That is... Oof. 
She doesn't trust me at all. Nah, she doesn't mean it. I mean, I wouldn't either. We did. We are not very high level. Okay, we gotta go here. I'm following the plot until we get everyone in the party together, and then we're going to actually do some stuff that isn't plot related. Mostly finishing exploring the colony, getting a few levels on people, and then fighting things. the unique monster. We don't want to fight the unique, that unique monster yet. Oh, I missed an item orb back there. We're going to go grab that. I want to grab item orbs. Okay, we can finish that. That gives me access to a strength of two. That'll give me access to a Poison Defense 3. We may as well throw that in there. Collectopedia stuff is allowed. It's... Oh, goodness. Not much is allowed, but that is allowed. We got like... We got like one allowed thing. Oh, this challenge run is going to be interesting. And it's not going to finish today. That's for sure. I'm not doing the whole the whole game today. This is a long game. You don't even have any like armor that, uh, slots that I can put a quick step gem in. So we'll hold off on that. Uh, okay. Item orbs up there. I don't see any item orbs. We're gonna ignore that for now. I just want items. I'm gonna view this cutscene. Because this will get me my full three party members. You forgot something. So that I can start you will be getting experience on all three of them. What? Which is very important. Very uh -huh. important. We want to have experience on everyone. To so I can power all three of them up. Because so, I am already nervous I'm about the first boss with uh, no, no like side it. stuff. You might be able to get enough power going through just... Mm. Okay, first step, I'm going to examine this just because I do want to get notified when I can do this one because that one requires very little affinity. And now we're going to go actually explore the commercial district. You know, I haven't been to the commercial district yet, so we can explore it. Um, including, we'll visit, well, any heart to hearts that I'm like going to walk by, I'll just check out real quick to add them to the list. Not that I expect to view all of them. Uh, gotta grab every red item orb that I can, and never turn them in, ever. <laughs> We're gonna actively make life harder for people by stealing the items that they want us to find, and then not talking to them ever. Uh, no shopping allowed. Hello, Ether Light. I'm just gonna walk right through you. No big deal. Ignore everything. Gem Man we are allowed to talk to. Gem Man is our only friend. Because otherwise I think this would playthrough would get real annoying real fast. That at least gives me an option to farm crystals if I really need to. Uh, that's everything there. 
Uh, no, there's another red item orb that I want to grab. Not because it serves any purpose, just because it's fun to steal items from people. <laughs> they're supposed to be placed here so you can do quests to find pe things that people lost, but I'm just going to steal them and then never turn them in. I want to look at my items. So yeah, we, we stole we stole someone's wedding ring, wedding ring. We stole someone's key to something, a uh, blue glass bead, which is kind of neat, and a spanner, which I think is actually like a tool that someone needs to like make a living. It's fine. We're never gonna turn those in. Uh, we need to go get the landmark in the residential district, and then we're gonna go swimming and just like explore the area, build up some AP and SP. Hi, random person. We're not talking to you. Yeah, wanted that landmark real quick. We are probably going to have to use some bonus experience early on. I'm going to try to use as little as possible. But I really don't think we're going to be able to do anything until I get up to level 3. And right now we are not there. As you may notice, I am, I am not level 3. We are going to discover these uh, little areas out here. Just to try to clean this up a little bit. I am just trying to discover this cape. There we go. Not gonna go for those item orbs. <laughs> That's a little too risky. I'm allowed to turn down things. The only reason I actually want item orbs at all is for Collectopedia and maybe some Colony 6 reconstruction, although I don't think that's gonna happen a lot. Especially since it's gated behind finishing Makana's Core, which is super late into the game. I will grab a bunch of these item orbs, though. Because this is kind of where all the rare items are. At least there's a couple spawn points for some of the rare items here. Anything that we can do? Well, we got a fruit, and we got a new bug. It's something. some of these item orbs. You know, they're probably just going to be useless stuff that I can't actually use. Yay, stuff I can't use. Because once I get one of the thing, it's just useless. Okay. Um, I need to go up there and then down and around. Uh, yeah, let's go through the cave. Gotta be careful of the vision type enemy here.
That's good. That's another item. Uh, the black kiwi will finish up a category, which is very good. Okay, Cliff Lake's discovered. There is a unique monster here that's level 6 that I can't, that I am allowed to take on, but not right now, because it's we're super underleveled for that. Let's get this. This is an agility up gem, which is very good. That'll give me gauntlets I can't use unless I finish the set. And I don't have any other Regna stuff, so I'm not allowed to equip that yet. I'm not even allowed to go, like, farm for it yet. Don't have enough stuff. Um, yeah. I think the only other location is just north of here. Well, the only other one I need to go for now is just north of here. Oh, also, I'm gonna play as Fiora. Not mine. Just on the off chance I get to use 100 arts as her, it's <laughs> unlikely. I want the item orb. This thing is the thing that I'm... Uh, not ready to fight yet. I don't think. I, I think I want to wait till I'm at, at least... Uh, not yellow portrait. But since this is our next thing that I'm gonna fight, I'm gonna actually use some bonus experience here just to get to three. I could go all the way to five, but I think I'm just gonna go to three. And we're gonna equip gems. Shulk, you're getting agility and strength. The better strength up. Fiora is getting the weaker strength up. Those are the only gems I'm allowed to equip right now. Just because of what I have. And we're going to try this. Not me. Way off of me. Oh gosh, I am super squishy. Now I'm gonna start doing damage again. Ryan does not have any gem slots in his starting armor, which is a little spooky. Oh, this is real bad. Okay. Let's do a chain attack. Ryan is at 1 HP. Ryan, you need a heal. Oh god, that's terrible. So I'm not feeling great about this fight. Yeah, that's not good. That's bad. That's what, kind of what I expected to happen with that. Okay, Shulk, we need to level up. We need to do some art leveling. That's what I need to do. I don't need levels. I just need art levels. Getting knocked down is fine. That's kind of expected in this playthrough. Arts. Hey. Could you heal more? More heals. You, we need to topple more, and you, we're gonna save you. I don't, I don't need anything on you. That's a little bit more bonus experience for later, if I need to tap into that. Any bonus experience I get, I can tap into as a last resort, but I'm kind of hoping we don't need it. At least deaths are super not punishing in this game.
But yeah, basically the story of this of this playthrough of this game for me is that we are a group of antisocial monster hunters that do not do anything. Okay, could you have not knocked Shulk down immediately? No. No. I'm running away from this fight. This fight's going, like, really bad. You should go away soon. Yeah. Let's try this again and maybe let not have Shulk get one shot right away. I'm not allowed to target any of the other enemies here intentionally. Run away. You hit so hard. No, it's really not. This is really not good. Thanks for the one shot. I think I think I need either more HP or something. Maybe more HP. I don't like HP ups though. They're so they feel so insignificant. I'm gonna get that notification a lot, and it's gonna annoy me to no end. I mean, you're super squishy. I feel like this is the strongest gem setup I've got access to. I'm gonna cave in and level up again. We're gonna take a full level up across the board to level four. So I can get through the beginning of this game. Casual mode is not allowed. Just flat out not allowed. I I'm not doing casual mode. But I can take bonus experience as necessary, which it's already necessary. That's fine. We're trying this with just a little bit more hit points. Ryan, why did you waste your top alert? please. Get up. I've got a dodge. I've got a, I've got a, uh, strafe real hard here. Strafing. Oh gosh, I have to strafe. I have no hit points. Why do I still have the aggro? Go. Really? Okay. I don't have aggro. Really? The strafe failed. Ugh. I can do that if I strafe more. And it gets... It'll get really annoying. 
If it hadn't knocked me down in one shot with that before I got that butterfly step off, we probably would have won. Like that butterfly step would have won, I think. Would also be nice if I had any more AP. We're gonna give it at least another shot at uh the whole four. tanking. Which is fine. Ish. The block was really bad. Probably get line up. Rip. Shulk. Okay, I got Shulk up and I have a segment of the party gauge. I love that we're grinding affinity here. Like, we're getting affinity. That's neat. Oh, goodness. So, I need Ryan to actually have any sort of tanking capability whatsoever, and I can't give him any gear because I don't have any gear. And the challenge prevents me from going out of my way to get any gear from anything else. This is, like, literally the hardest thing. I'm going to- not- probably not the hardest thing. It's, this challenge is going to be rough. I really won't, don't want to take level 5, but I might have to take level 5. To get through this, uh, boss. Oh my gosh, Fiora draws aggro so fast. not great. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's real good. We do not have a revive. Yeah, that attempt is dead. That died real fast. I think we're going to take level 5. I think I'm going to take level 5. Not level 6, just level 5. Which is as high as Fiora goes. Fiora does not get level 6. Everyone else can get to level 6, but Fiora does not. Yeah, this is like super manageable now. It went from basically impossible to like super manageable. At least relatively manageable. No, stop attacking. Why are you on me? Boom! Done! We win! We get 
an achievement for that. That's good. We got Jaws of Defeat out of the way. Okay. Can't equip this. Can't equip this because of rules yet. But we can keep these for now. This is good. The Million Driver is very good. Because I am allowed to equip that. And we're going to give you HP up for now. What collectibles am I missing? Just the... Just the Chewy Radish, which is a rarer one. I might go farm for it, but probably not. Okay, now that we've taken out one unique monster, I'm feeling somewhat optimistic about taking on other unique monsters. Somewhat. <laughs> Ugh. Till I get to like later in the game and I have actual options to like work around all the restrictions that I've given myself. Our next op opponent is this guy. Ugh, I missed the timing. That's real bad. I actually almost considered just not. We're gonna unload and then back off. Roll with the aura. Okay, uh, Fiora needs to not have aggro. Why did you waste the wild down like that? Um... Get up. Okay, you're not on me, which means I can do that. Okay, we're through. Level 5. This guy's no problem. Let's see what we get. I'm not allowed to save scum. I don't think Pistis has a full stat, so that's just unfortunate. These are both really unfortunate, because I cannot equip these at all. Because of the challenge. I hate it. I hate these. I cannot use these. Not allowed. We did get a crystal, though. Which I can craft if I get another crystal. But, you know, I can't just craft it by itself. But yeah, Battle Gear is a start to a set, I believe. Um, so I can actually, like, you know, maybe get that full set online. Although I'm not giving myself the best chance of doing that. We're going to probably be using a lot of base equipment. <laughs> I'm going to go out of my way for this uh, level 6 unique monster down here. There's one more after this one. Yeah, 
get off of me. Beat him up real bad. Beat her up real bad, I guess. Her up, I think. <sighs> I'm gonna beat up the beat travel a little bit, because it's only level one. And I'm pretty sure I can just destroy him real quick. Move him from the fight. Try to get some bonus damage in here. My arts aren't ready, unfortunately. I'm kind of the worst person in this party. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, the real hump was getting through this first unique monster. That extra weapon is just so nice. I'm not sure I get a... I, there's a full sets of those, but this is another thing. Muscle up, agility up. What was my other crystal? I'm actually gonna look. Agility up, ether up. Hmm. Not sure I want to do gem crafting with that. I don't think we have gem crafting actually at this point. I think we have to do the whole first section of the game without gem crafting. Which is fine. One more unique monster I'm allowed to fight. Oh, I'm being told about new arts on people. Yes, people have learned new arts. These are good. I like it that they have new arts. I appreciate it. Um, but I really want to focus on the, the, main, the main things that they do, which is topple for Ryan and heal for Shulk. Because we're going to need those to be actually good. I, have, I need those to be good. Um... You are our other target here. We're almost level 6, actually. And I'm going to take any levels I get just naturally. back on the shore. Hey, I leveled up. Or we all leveled up, actually. Let's revive. Heal up. We did take out one other enemy. Which did give me enough experience to level up, which is good, because more stats is good. Get back here. Do 
You're going so far away. Come back here! Stop swimming away! Oh my gosh. You... Where are you going? I'm going to swim in front of you so you will come and fight me over here. Did you have to... Mm. And now we lose because I... Oh, wait, it got de-aggroed. I love fighting this thing. It's so annoying to actually get to aggro. Because it goes and hangs out way far away. Get over here. Yeah, we can fight you here. Really? What are you doing? Are you... You're broken. I think you're broken. I can't get behind you. Yeah. Throw that combo out. Shulk's focusing on a different one, which is kind of okay. Thanks for the death. Okay, we die because uh, it. I drew too much aggro. That was on me. But I get some points. Uh, and my skills. Are my skill points going to the right things? They're probably not. No, I want zeal. I want diligence. And I want intuition. We did kill a thing. Now that it, although it's respawned now, so all we, the only real reward is that we get nothing for, out of the chest. Well, you're still attacking me. If you're aggroed on me, I can fight you. I'm allowed to fight you. So I'm gonna take this. It de aggroed, but we got something else to aggro. Which gives me a few points and nothing else. Really? We did kill something. I get basically nothing. I don't think I'm going to want the soldier pike. It is better for attack. It is a, quite a bit better. But it will take away his HP. I guess we'll go for it. Yeah. 
Okay. Ryan's probably dead. Means now he's back. Get the encourage off for affinity. We get another one of those. We get one of these, which is a little better. Gets a slot. Messenger shoes, which I can't use. And more materials that I can't use at all. May as well collect all the item orbs here. There's a couple that have a good chance of giving me, uh, uh, whatever, the Chewy Radish, I think, is the item. Nope, not yet. I'm not gonna necessarily worry about it. It's a quick step gem, I can do without the quick step gem. We've got more important things to give our gems to, our gem slots to. Do I have enough affinity for this yet? Out of curiosity. I do. We may as well view this. <laughs> Accidentally got enough affinity. We'll do this. We're going to try to build affinity up now. Because more affinity is better. Let's, let's get this affinity in influx. I'm mashing through the text, I'm sorry. I need all the affinity, because party affinity helps in terms of generating better chain attacks and stuff. And, no. You're gonna maybe go to the light driver. It's more stable, uh, gives better physical defense. I think we're gonna take it, and I get the HP back. Which is nice. That's all of the... Yeah, that's all the unique monsters out here that I can take before the first boss. So now we get to do Tepper Cave stuff. Did everything outside that I was allowed to. We got... And we did take on a good number of unique monsters just to get a little bit stronger. Yes, thanks for the tutorial. Give me this bonus of AP and SP, really. Well, I guess we're gonna fight you. I'll take you for EXP. I'm gonna take this fight for experience and maybe a good drop. We might get a drop out of these guys. And they attacked me first, so it's fair. That's gonna be, yeah. That's another set of the battle set. That's good. That's two. If I get a third piece of battle gear, I can. I am allowed to farm for the remainder. Because <laughs> of how the challenge works. And I will do research to farm for the remainder. Of that particular set. They didn't notice me. There is an item orb there. I want the item orb. You're a bit higher level, but that's fine. I'm not allowed to take the unique monster down there because it's scary. And also just because it's not allowed. If you give me a wooden chest, wooden chests are useless. That's part of the light a set, so we could use that if I get enough pieces of that set. 
New Corkipedia. I'm gonna throw whatever I've got in. Just because there's no reason to hold on to it. Uh, we're getting ready to fight you. You are a unique monster that I do kind of want to fight. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Heal Rhine up a bit more. Extend the chain attack. Daze. Go for the free crit. You're on the side, so slit edge. That's pretty solid. Unload your power art. I should not have the aggro. I'm gonna straight. I'm still strafing. I'm pulling out. Hey, are you gonna... Yeah, I was like, you should stop soon. That guy's not... That guy's off limits until after the next boss. That guy down there. Actually off limits for a little while. Okay. I guess we're fighting you. Again. Now that the other two are gone. bonus hit points on Ryan. I missed the quick time because I'm bad. Still getting damage in here, but he's got so many hit points. Like my two digit damage hits are not are not sparking joy. Could you have given me the extra attack, please? Um, going on on butterfly step and then running away. Haha! -ha! That's the strat. And we level up. Amazing. 
more light stuff, that's good. I don't think I'm allowed to use either of those. But light stuff is good. That is another point towards the light set. If we get a third piece of light set, or a third piece of uh, battle armor, then we're, we're good to go. And I can farm the rest of it. I want this item orb. There's also an item orb back here. Which means we draw the ire of this iron bunner. drop anything though. Ooh, I got the fruit category done, which gives me, I think, something that's really nice. A lightning attack too. That's actually a huge upgrade at this point in the game. To damage. Specifically auto attack damage, so I'm actually going to give that to you. Not attack stability, lightning attack too. And we're going to give you a strength up instead of an HP up. We're going to get you doing more damage. Because I think the lightning attack will actually end up helping Fiora's damage more. Are these the Magnal Ruins? Haven't you been here before? Nope. The Defense Force often uses it for training, but I come here to do research. It's not really a place that people go. Not surprising. There are monsters around here that use Mekon parts as armor. Was this built by the Mekon? I don't think so. There's a path for people to get in. It might have been a vehicle of some kind. Like the Defense Force hover transports. A vehicle? But it's so big. It's amazing technology. I wonder what kind of people made it. I ain't got a clue. Let's keep moving. The ether cylinders are up ahead. Right. Goodness, I need to... We gotta get... Uh, yeah, I can skip travel, I know. They're telling me I should shop. But I'm not allowed to shop because of the way the challenge that I put, set out to do works. You've learned War Swing. Uh, we are going to power up Wild Down again and Light Heal again. Those are very important. We need these to be at level 4 as soon as possible. Hello. Yeah, lightning attack is great for Fiora. Basically every auto attack gets 60 extra damage, which is just humongous. I think that's a duplicate piece of equipment. Oh, I hate that. If that had been any other piece of the light gear... Yeah, any other light light set gear other than that and the, uh... Yeah, I don't... I have front armor there, Pistis battle... Front, light, graft, light, battle there as well, and then light for there. I can't mix and match battle and light, that's not allowed. Throw in some extra animals here. We also can get started on the nature category. 52% of the way done though, that's pretty good. I would like a carbon driver actually from Colony 9. You know, I think I can take you on. So we're gonna do it. Is everybody ready? Thank you. 
get up. We're gonna extend the durations on all this. We're gonna dump some HP onto Ryan. And you're gonna go all out. And that's the fight. Yeah, we win. Okay, one last chest to see what we get. No useful things here. Yeah, no useful stuff there. Do I want the car- I don't think I need the carbon driver for the next boss, or for this next sequence, really. I can do without it. It'd be nice, but I don't need it. Okay. May as well examine it. Cutscene time. It is time to start getting ready for our first boss. We it's only level eight. Right we should here. be able to handle Thanks it the help, with the equipment that I've got you set up. It's full of ether cylinders. Mm. Hey, why do we have to come all the way here to get them? Isn't there an ether cylinder fueling station in the colony? Well. Refining the ether takes a long time down there. I may also but want to fight a whole bunch of mech on the colony just to get so a bunch of drops. Here for us already. It's more reliable than making them ourselves. Right. And Colony 9's anti-air batteries and mobile artillery are standardized for these cylinders. So they can be used straight away. I well, see. we've almost finished chapter one. You know, this place is in good condition considering it's ancient. It might be that there's some form of technology being used to preserve it. It's just a shame we don't understand its secret. Shulk? But I'll solve it one day and show you. If it's just technology that someone created in the past, it's not incomprehensible. We'll come to understand it one day. Don't go trying too hard. We can come and get ether cylinders whenever we need them. Besides, it's a good place for Defense Force training. Yeah, so good that you didn't even want to come here without Shulk to back you up. <laughs> anyway, did you collect the cylinders? Yep, yeah, all done. Thanks. Just come by yourself from now on. Shh, be quiet. As a reminder, other than Ryan's weapon, we are still using the <laughs> default gear on everyone. And I've equipped some people with gems, but that's about it. Are they mech on? I don't know. But it looks like we'll have to destroy them. In that case, just leave them to me. Purple 60s. All those purple 60s are from Fiora. Or from that gem. Like every time a purple 60 comes up, that's Fiora's lightning attack gem doing bonus damage. And it's 60 bonus damage. That is the first what boss of the game world? done. I've never seen anything like them. Could they have been Mechon? No. I 
the next boss is level 10, so I'm technically allowed to go back and fight a couple of they other things. After this sequence. Yeah. But I don't think that something could have been us. I could fight those things. I don't know if it's a good idea. I don't want to be here anymore. Me neither. And we've already got the ether cylinders. Huh? What's going on? Listen, what is that? That sound. In the sky! Yeah, we have to have the plot happen. Oh, it's a... It's coming! No way! Metcon! How? Did it not really destroy them all a year ago? Could that defense mechanism have responded to the Metcon? Let's get back to the colony! Come on! I'm gonna make a new file. Hey! This siren! It sounds different! Yeah! Isn't this siren too? It can't be. Oh, look at all the people that we never made any connection with because we never talked to any of them. That's because you're not using ether. What type of mechon is that? I've never seen one like it. You slackers, fire! Shoot it down! That's not good. None of this is good. This is all really bad. But, uh, I know they want me to jump off, but I'm gonna go back inside because I wanna go fight a unique monster. Actually, hmm, do I wanna fight the unique monster? I could do it with Ryan as my leader, I think. Yeah. We're just gonna go into Tepper Cave. And there's no crisis anymore. Crisis averted. We went into the cave. Skip traveling disabled. But I want to go walk through here and get to the other unique monster. That's a new collectible. Oh, yes. Give me another thing. HP up to. We're not going to use that. I don't have... I have very limited gem slots. And well, it's, I appreciate the offer, it, nah, not now. Grab a couple more things, just in case they're new. Hey, you wanna fight? You can have a fight then. 
Oh gosh, we are level seven. Level seven is not great. has a new art. That's very, very good, actually. We do get one chest. I already have battle leggings. I need a different battle piece of gear for the challenge. I'm just not allowed to use... Like, two sets of battle leggings doesn't do anything for me. The strat here is to dodge, dodge the Toxin Shower with Ryan. Are you really going to Toxin Shower us again? Okay, this is not going well. Stop. Thanks for the miss. Uh, I got my hundredth miss. Yeah, I need to take out the other things there first. That, that's for sure. I'm gonna even do this at this level. At the very least, these eater caterpillars need to go. plot event happening. I'm allowing enemies that are near unique monsters in order to just make the unique monster fight easier. Oh good, a skill. That's actually really good. Yeah, learning skills is good. More HP for you, more block rate when you're low HP, more tension from Battlestar Affinity, all very good things to have. We're going to leave them on that for now. Arts wise, yeah, you can't level that up yet. You've got Lacerate. You are going to max out that. That's really important. Then we'll start focusing on other things, I guess. Get out of the AoE, except it still hit me for some reason. Knock you down again. 
stays, you focus on healing me. Uh, I guess we go for damage now. Last rate, we'll get that bleed damage applied. Really? Your attack gets priority over mine because... Why? Oh my goodness. So rude. Why does your attack get priority over mine? Granted, we are a little underleveled. I'm not gonna level up just to fight this thing, though. We don't need the level. We don't need to actually fight this thing now, honestly. It's just a walk to get back anywhere else. We're gonna leave him alone. I don't want to deal with him. He's too annoying. I don't like that one. go back up to the top and then jump down and then start going through this whole plot sequence I think that's the that's one I already have I think I do find it a little amusing that that's just a texture there like it's just a flat texture at the end of this like that cave Hey, remember, there, there's, there's like, actual emergencies happening. Like, all is not well. This is your reminder that all is not well. Just collecting item worms on the off chance I get a Chewy Radish, which would let me get another, get a much better weapon for Ryan. And a Quick Step 3 gem, which I don't really care about, but the better weapon for Ryan would definitely be nice. Oh hey, you want to fight? Fine, you get to die then. Yeah, we're just gonna beat you up real quick. No good drops, unfortunately. But we get some points. So I can't complain too much. It's a lot of orbs over there. I know it's not really on the way, but I want to get these four. Knowing that, you know, any orb could be a chewy radish, and that would be good. Otherwise, every other orb is garbage, though. These probably can't even be chewy radishes, in all honesty. I don't think these things are allowed to be true radishes. I mean, I guess extra extra items are good for gifting. We can gift them. The more items I have, the more affinity I have, essentially. Yeah, the town's under attack. We're gonna make this chapter long by fighting a bunch of Mechon and seeing what I can get from them. 
because that's going to fuel kind of my early gen crafting, and maybe I can get some armor out of them. Maybe I can get some armor that would be useful. I'm definitely not farming anything until after this chapter. I'm not going to farm, go out of my way to farm other enemies in this chapter, even if I do get enough of an armor set for it to matter. I should probably equip the lightning attack on someone else now. Heads up, Ryan. If this thing wants to fight, let's give it one. <sighs> I don't have the lightning attack right now. That was not 11. These are all one damage hits. Yeah. Pretty quick fight there. I can leave it on Fiora, actually, because Fiora is only out of the party for this fight, and then another fight later. We'll get the lightning attack, too, back. Once she leaves permanently, because she will leave for a while. And we will get the lightning attack, too, back at that point. Which will help. But yeah. She can do like 60 damage per hit, which is really solid, actually. The bonus lightning damage does not get resisted. So I'm really glad we got the lightning attack, actually. That's like one of the better things we can get from the Collectopedia this early in the game. Yeah, you're gonna tell me running away is a valid tactic. Hey, you wanna fight? Oh good, someone's playing Animal Crossing. Neat. Arbor still does some damage. I don't think the lightning attack actually does damage in this, uh, in the remake. There. You can also get some a sweet affinity from this. Whew. Nothing from that guy. Someone break him. Silver chest. We got a light driver and a cylinder. Uh, do I want do I want the light driver? I don't think I do. Oh, that's what we have already. Okay. So yeah, no. The crusher comes with aggro up, but I don't care about it. Yeah, no, I'm like light driver.
Again, I'm only fighting the ones that are in my way. Cutscene time. Moving on the plot. How nice of all the enemies to be out of the way. The Colonel! The guys! I'm gonna destroy every last one of those damn Mechon! Artillery. Right. If we recharge it with those ether cylinders we collected, we can blast our way in. It's in the residential district. Great. All right. This is it. Time to avenge the Colonel and the boys. No, I was enjoying that other music. Now we go back to this music. Ugh. Also, let me uh, take your gem off. I want to... Actually, I just want to give it to Ryan. Honestly. Get through. We'll be right behind you. But sure. A year ago, 
gun back in the defense force. Fought hard to protect the economy and all of us homes. Now it's our turn to repay them. Please be all right. Shulk! Ryan! Don't look so worried. We'll just get rid of these ones. Shulk won't get a scratch. Okay. Why did you topple Please. it and then not beat Go it up? Seriously? If you're gonna topple a mecha and beat it up while we'll it's down, don't course. don't just let it do its own thing. Yeah, this is fine. We're gonna open with an aura burst because that will actually do some damage to everything. I don't have my top alert yet, so I'm sorry, Shulk. I don't trust this, that timing. Yeah. damage on each of them. Shulk and Ryan are having bonding time. Take 45 damage and less strength for a bit. Still getting affinity. And that's how this is going. Boom. You <sighs> got I'll take care of things here. You're too much of breath to persuade me. You did also get the Ryan achievement, which is cool. It's more bonus experience that I can use as necessary. Going to try not to use it. I'm trying to use as little bonus XP as possible, but it will happen, I'm sure. party member to replace Fiora, who is kind of air. I'm not allowed to take any of his equipment off, but I can give him gems. Uh, 
Uh, no, let's go for the 12%. Dunman's not going to get much from this, but uh, Shulk and Ryan will actually get some decent points from any fights that we do here. And we can maybe get drops for them. Because Dunban can't really... Dunban's going to probably... Can't, I can't change his equipment, I mean. Alright, we have this little scene here. Gotta get through chapter 2. Oh, chapter 2. We might not get even through chapter 3 today. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how long I want to go. They took away the ability to change his skill. Freeze. I forgot about that. Hey, now that you're, we're done with that, we're going to level that up to max. Shulk, you can start working on, uh, let's say, Stream Edge, actually. There. We're going to make that a bit better. May as well invest all the AP I can. Hi. I see you want to fight me. Hi. I'm gonna fight my way through. I don't need to actually use an enchant here. here just so that Shulk and Rotten can do some little bit of extra damage. It's nearly not worth it. They're getting like actual experience and AP from these though. fight you. Anything that aggroes on me, I will deal with. I'm not even getting that much. Okay. Done with that.
I'm having a thought right now, which is a really silly thought, but it's a thought nonetheless. Am I allowed to take Dumban into Tefra Cave to go fight a thing? Because I might do that. Oh yeah, you got a whole new arts. Uh, I don't want arts. Skill trees. Dumbbands is unlocked now. We're gonna set you on wisdom. tempted, actually. Can we get here? Just a weapon. Hey, you. Oh, they can topple them pretty quickly, actually. I'm going to do a silly. And with Shulk as the leader. Run all the way to Tepper Cave. Because I want to go fight this unique monster. Because I know this unique monster will be a pain without with Dumban not in the party. Because Dumban's a little OP, and I'm going to have Dumban beat up this unique monster for me to get me the reward from it. Because I don't like this unique monster. There's another unique monster down there that I can probably take without Dumban. I might do that one too. Just for the heck of it. Oh, then I'll have to swim. Swimming's annoying. I'm already going to have to run, like, a whole long way. We might do it. I think I will. There's two... It's two level 10 unique monsters, which, theoretically, they're level 10. They're lower... They're equal level to the next boss, so I'm allowed to take them. I'm allowed to go out of my way to take them, I should say. The level 9 one I was allowed to take earlier, because it was, like, basically on the way. I love how I pick the music sounds while we run away from the danger. We are totally just allowed to go into Tepper Caves. This is silly. We've escaped into Tepper Cave. Things you were allowed to do. Fine, I guess. Yeah, Dumban's pretty strong. 
Light shoes are new. Oh, light shoes are new, aren't they? We have... What is it? We have light gloves. No, I think we already had light shoes. We already had light shoes. Dang it. Ugh. I wanted light shoes to be new so bad. We have gloves and shoes for that one. The other one we have head gear and pants. Let's just try this. We're gonna use Dumban's ridiculously overpoweredness to get through this fight. Yeah, Dumban can't be hit. Dumban's just great. He's too high level. The, the unique monster literally cannot hit him. He just wins. Like, Dumban just wins. Caravan is new. Brave is good. That's actually a really good weapon for Ryan, which I will throw on after I check the Collectpedia to see that we've got bugs and nature categories finished. Very nice. I mean, the slow resist I probably won't use. Attack plus I probably also won't use. I'm gonna go Brave Garter. That's that unique monster dealt with. Taking Dumban to clear out a bunch of easy unique monsters. I'm going to treat it as if, you know. I mean, we're not. We're only allowed to take out the ones that are e on par with or lower level than the next boss, which is level 10. So, it's just that guy and then one other that I can actually take out right now with Dumban. That I'm going to allow myself to take out with Dumban, but I'm going to take them out with Dumban to see if I can snag any useful stuff. The Brave Guarder is definitely really nice, especially since I didn't get the Carbon Driver early. You know, since I didn't find Chewy Radish, we didn't get the Carbon Driver. I mean, there's still a chance I find a Chewy Radish, it's just super unlikely. With where I'm going to be heading for the rest of the game. That's okay. We've made really good progress on Tepper Caves, though. I think it's just the flowers that we're missing. Although I don't really need a lot of stuff out of the Tepper Cave Collectopedia, other than that lightning attack was really the big thing. I think the flowers do give an agility up, maybe, so I will want that. But that's about it. I guess free equipment is nice, too, because it could boost up a set that, you know, might matter. Probably not. Unless I get three or more, three or more pieces of a set, we just don't use it. I'm going down here. That was a very fast fall. This guy's level 10. Hey, Dumban. This is basically your job. get some knives I can't use. Night goggles I'm not allowed to use, and a crystal, I guess. I could actually use that crystal. That crystal synergizes well with another one. But now, now we are done. Using Dumban to just absolutely destroy unique monsters in Colony 9. Amazing. Just trying to get some loot. Really, the drops from the unique monsters are what matters the most. I mean, the experience is nice too, and the AP and SP is always welcome. Reminds me, uh, Shulkhorn Shadow Eye. You know what? We're gonna power backslash and slit edge up one rank. 
What else do I really like on you? Uh, Aura Burst is good. Although your user stat kind of sucks. We're going to go for Bone Upper. You're not going to get like, any AP at ever. ever. Yeah, Dunban's not getting any AP from this, but that's okay. He'll be back later. see where I'm going, like, at all. Where are you trying to guide me to go? Like, I'm very curious why I wouldn't go this way. We're gonna follow the pointer because I'm trusting the pointer. I trust the pointer, although I don't think it's right. Are you going to have me swim all the way around the commercial district? I think you're going to have me swim all the way around the commercial district. Which is kind of hilarious. But that's the pathfinding you chose. Yeah, you chose around the north side. I guess it's probably not that much slower. And we got some item orbs along the way, not that they were any useful ones. Just filling up on other collectibles that I'm never going to use. I guess it isn't really that much faster, because we have to go up kind of this level of north this anyway. This far north, I should say. Jeez. Sometimes my brain just, like, makes up ways of saying things that are, like, not how anyone would naturally say that phrase at all. It's fine. English is weird, a weird language. And I swear I'm a native speaker. <laughs> I swear. Totally a native speaker. Hi, you want to play? I'm no longer bothering with enchant because they can topple pretty effectively. The rest of my topple is pretty good at topple, or the rest of my party is pretty good at toppling. Affinity, please. And we did get a silver chest, which means we could get some useful stuff. Silver chest is maybe useful stuff. Gold chest guarantees that we're getting either maybe some equipment, but equipment, as we can see, it can also be useless because sometimes equipment doesn't have uh, an option or it isn't part of a full set and therefore can't be equipped. Swimming trunks? Uh, that's not useful. The slotted soldier pike is, could be useful, I guess, but I think the brave guard is probably better. But yeah, swimming trunks are... We don't have any of that set. That's our first one. Guess we're fighting you. They are very good at toppling. Thanks for the cylinders. Two aren't gonna 
up anything useful. Wooden chests are garbage. Honestly, I should chop, stop even picking them up. They're just literally useless. I'm gonna let them beat that one up while I beat this one up. Caravan gear? Okay, that's two caravan set, right? Two of the caravan. That's not my first. Uh, one, we have that slot, uh, not in the middle, and we have gauntlets, don't we? Not gauntlets. No, not gauntlets. We have bottoms? Yeah, bottoms. That's our second caravan piece, though that's good. We don't have the feet. Why did I attack? I mean, you were going to attack me, but I shouldn't have actually attacked there. It's fine. Yes. We're all dropping silver chests. Okay, someone can. I can now farm for caravan gear later. And we got more swimming gear as well. We will probably do the farming in chapter 3. For caravan stuff, because it is a good piece of equipment. It's good equipment. I mean, it'll be something. It's probably going on Ryan, honestly. But it'll let us equip a whole bunch more gems, too. I want this item more before we finish the chapter. So I have some research to do about caravan stuff. I'm assuming it's a full set, because we did find three pieces. But we have boss time. Chapter 2 boss time. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. We're gonna just try to build up bonus effects, which is like that. And we can't win this fight. This is just a wait, waiting game. I missed that timing. I'm looking at other things. That's that battle. It's not working. Oi, what you mean? How can that be? Okay, yeah, that explains why we haven't found that yet. What is that light? Other Mechon don't have that. Could could that light be why the Monado has no effect? I don't think we have the armor or the gauntlets. Those are the two we're missing. Not good. Why am I dropping some frames? Uh, not dropping frames now.
Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do this quickly. <laughs> Dumban has his talent art up, so we win. <laughs> that, that's just how it works. Dumban was ready to use his talent art on it after we toppled, so we win. Because Dumban just does too much damage. He's a little OP. Which is why he's going to be leaving the party until he's no longer OP after this uh, cutscene. He's not sticking around. Fiora. Ah, the breeze feels so good. Yeah. I've forgotten what it feels like. I never thought it could be so quiet here. You're spending too much time with Ryan. You're getting used to all the noise he makes. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> peaceful. You know, Shulk, I hope every day can be like this, always. Yeah. I just can't do it. You got more guts than me. Not at all. It was him that consoled me. Oh. I guess that's the type of guy he is. Yeah. Even without Leonardo, he's the strongest person I know. Shulk, how are you holding up? I'm fine, but you... I will shed no tears. Huh? A year ago, I felt the same sense of deep loss that I do now. The Battle of Sword Valley. Oh, goodness. After that battle, many of my friends did not make it home. While I was being brought here on that stretcher, they were all I thought about. <sighs> but I decided I would not cry. Everyone who died in that war had something they wanted to protect. Family, friends, loved ones, their home. So they fought to protect them. And we won. No matter how painful, no matter how hard, it's nothing to be sad about. I decided that there and then. Dumban. Shulk, Fiora would tell you the same thing. <sighs> 
She wanted to protect us. Or rather, she wanted to protect you. And you're alive now. So, I will not cry. Okay. Remember the gift of life that Fiora gave you. And treasure it. I... I can't say that I understand. But... I hope to. Someday. That is all I ask. Believe me, I'm always just trying to understand. Treasure the gift of life that Fiora gave you. It's one of a kind that done that. I've made a decision. Huh? My purpose in life. I will pursue that faced Mekon. Shulk. They attacked our colony. Kill Fiora. I will find that Mekon. Find it and destroy it. Destroy them all. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Sorry, sorry. It's just a bit weird. I never thought you'd be the one to say it. So you agree? Of course, man. I'm just surprised you came out with it first. You thought I'd try and talk you out of it. That's not what Fiora would want. That sound right? Yeah. Something like that. I thought you'd give me a hard time. In my head, there are two versions of me. One of them is saying that. It's telling me, listen to what Dunban said. What about the other one? It keeps shouting, make them pay. Destroy every single one of them. And it won't stop getting louder. That doesn't sound like you. Sure, it ain't my voice in there. Might be. It's a bit of a loud mouth. There you go then. Oh, goodness. I don't know if I want to... Goodness, that's... Oh, goodness. I love this song so much, but, like... Oof. I think I'm going to take a break. I think I'm going to call it here. Feeling a little tired. We'll be back to this on Wednesday. For sure. I'm definitely enjoying this challenge run. It's It's a fun challenge, honestly. Yeah, we'll be back Wednesday with more of this. Monday, tomorrow is Free Enterprise and a little bit of Final Fantasy V, but mostly Free Enterprise stuff will happen tomorrow. Tuesday is going to be Free Enterprise as well. Wednesday is going to be this in the evening. And then Thursday, Friday, more Free Enterprise and FF5 stuff. And then, yeah. Next Saturday will be probably more Free Enterprise stuff. I'm doing a lot of Free Enterprise and FF5 stuff. Today and Wednesday, this Wednesday, are going to be the exceptions where I do this. And I'm not going to be streaming next Sunday, I don't think. I think I'm going to need a break. But yeah, thanks all for hanging out. That's going to do it for me.